Are you guys replacing a little purge bulb that looks like this on your unit? You can actually hook that up backwards. I'm gonna take you through the whole purge system on one of these units today to make sure you don't get it wrong. Good day guys and girls. Thanks for tuning in to Steve Small End and Saloon again. Today we got some Lucky Lager, we got some Rainier, and we got some Kokini. I'm gonna go with Kokin, no. I'm gonna go with okay, Rainier, done. Maybe you guys are replacing these, this purge bulb right here because it's cracked and it leaks fuel. Maybe you're replacing all your fuel lines on your, on your uh, unit today because they are cracked and they leak fuel. No matter what the case is, just in case, I'm going to take you through the whole system here to make sure that you understand this and you're doing this properly. Few things here that I want to take you through before we get into this too much. Um, first thing is obviously we're not talking about a carburetor that looks like this with the purge bulb that's built onto the carburetor. We're not talking about that one. We're talking about the one that has that separate purge bulb with the lines coming off of it. The second thing I want to make sure that you understand is that this is not a primer bulb. A lot of people call it a primer bulb. I call it a primer bulb sometimes make that mistake. It's actually not a primer bulb, it's a purge bulb. Primers are what's on, on a lawnmower. When you hit that button on your lawnmower, that little, that little uh, bulb on there, what it's doing is it is priming your lawnmower. It's squirting a little bit of fuel into the throat of your carburetor because your unit doesn't have a choke on it. It's, it takes place of the choke. So that's what makes your lawnmower start. This does not squirt fuel into your throat of your carburetor. You can pump one of these things 150 times and you will not flood your unit. It just, what it's doing is it's purging um, the air out of the carburetor and it's filling the carburetor with fuel to make it easier to start when you do choke it. The other thing I want you guys to really realize, if you, can, if you can just remember this, keep this in mind. On this system, what this little purge bulb does, it's a little pump. Nice catch, huh? It's a little pump that what it's doing is it's sucking fuel through the carburetor. It's not pushing fuel through the carburetor. So if you can keep that in mind, um, you might be able to wrap your head around this a little bit better. This is a little bit of a hard concept for people to grasp and to actually wrap their head around it and, and comprehend this. I actually worked with a small engine mechanic once where he could not get the system. I actually took a piece of paper and a pen and I drew a diagram for him. And once I did that, then he all of a sudden the light bulb came on and he was like, I get it now, I understand that. I'm not gonna draw you guys a picture right now. Instead, I made this awesome little model here for you. I know, it's a work of art. I also know that this is not a fuel tank. I, I cut this out so for clarity purposes so you guys can actually see what happens in your fuel tank when this system is working properly. I'm gonna pump that purge bulb right now. This is what should be happening. You see what's going on there? When I push the primer bulb in, see I just did it, primer bulb, I said primer. It's not a primer, it's a purge. You push it in and it squirts fuel back into your fuel tank and when you let it go, it's sucking fuel from the fuel filter up into the carburetor, through the carburetor, and then back into that bulb. 
that's it working properly right there. Now, if you're just replacing the bulb by itself because it's cracked or broken and leaking, let's have a little, let's have a close look at this bulb right now. You can see right here that on the, on the back side of that, there's two hose connectors. One is longer than the other, the other one's shorter. If you look really close at the base, if you look right down the end like that, at the short hose connector, you can see there's a little word stamped in there. It's, it says in. That's in, and the long one is out. Think of this thing as being like a one-way valve. It only pumps one direction. It always goes in the short one and out the long one. So if you're just replacing this bulb, this is all you need to worry about. The long hose connector, the out one, goes directly to your fuel tank. The short one that says in goes to your carburetor. Like that. And that's as simple as that for replacing your bulb if you do that. Now, if you had all of your fuel lines off because they're broken, you're replacing all your fuel lines, you might not remember where they all go. So as long as you have the, the purge bulb hooked up properly like I just showed you, and it doesn't work, now that could be because you have, have accidentally put your lines on your carburetor backwards. There are two hose connectors on your carburetor. Possibly, maybe those are on backwards. If it doesn't work like I'm showing you right here, then try flipping those lines around on the opposite sides, cross those over like this. and try it again. Now pump that bulb, and if it still doesn't work, then you may have a problem in your carburetor. You can only suck fuel through your carburetor one direction, it won't go the other direction. So if you tried both ways and it still doesn't work, there's probably a problem with your carburetor. I do have some other videos on my channel that address that situation. I've got a couple links up here in the I button for you that you can go back and check that out if you want. So I hope that was a good way to clear some of that up for you guys, having that visual image right there of how that system works. Um, if I hope you liked it. If you liked it, man, thumbs up button for me, please. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Share it with your friends. That would be cool too. And um, I think that's probably all I can do with this video. Again, guys, I hope maybe I saved you some money. That'd be that'd be cool too. That's why I'm always here. I'm gonna say uh, Steve out.